You know what, Daniel? I really like this episode. Ah! Boy, am I glad he's gone. So did that for you feel like it was just a big waste of time? Yes. Like for me, <laughs> it felt like it reset it back to the end of season one mm. because like we've wired it out. They could do anything, but they started the season with the ability to do everything and they chose to make everything kind of the same. Yeah. We just like slight differences. So let's talk about why this all happened. What the fuck happened at the start of the episode? So start of the episode, Loki and Mobius just got back from... Yeah, they let him go through first. Yeah. And then... He's kind of just wandering around the yeah, TVA they, for a second. <laughs> they, to like, they didn't put him in a, in a cell originally. Yeah. And then maybe once they were in the cell together, they were like, all right, we can go from mm -hmm. here. Instead, they're just like, yeah, just free reign in the TVA till we get there, buddy. We'll be yeah. a good three minutes. Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. Because they trust him. Uh oh. Because he's a good guy. Because he stutters a lot. Because he stutters a lot. No nerd can be threatening. <laughs> so he gets back to the TVA and they're like, look, we need your help. And he's like, I don't know. And then he feels the. I believe um, it was. I, 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 I don't know. No. Exactly. He's a and then um, he hears like an announcement about like the loom about to explode or something. Right. And yep. he's like, my loom? And he's like, I need to help. Yeah, but mainly he just wants to see the loom, I guess. I yeah, don't know. but he also wants to... I don't know. He seems like he's... He does seem like a, a nice guy. A nice guy. And then they take him down to meet Ouroboros and they have like a little, like, you know, little thing. Oh, you because see, did that annoy you? As in, okay. Which part? Because they both wrote each other's books? Yeah, like... I mean, just... I don't mind that they... I don't mind a good time loop, which we'll get to later in the episode. There's a bad time loop. But in... The idea of someone taking someone else's work and that person working off that other work, mm -hmm. not bad, especially when you name your character Ouroboros. Yeah. But what annoyed me was they were like, like Ouroboros, a snake eating its own tail. And yeah. it's like, wow, okay, just, I mean. It's like, the no, no, the joke was you named him that and that's the thing. It's like, oh. Like, that's the, oh, yeah, so the people know, in the know. You don't, <laughs> when you explain the joke, <laughs> that it's makes not it funny anymore. Oh. Like, imagine. I thought that made it funny. Imagine you're at a comedy show and, like, they say the punchline and then it's like, explain that joke again it's like no no it was just like a fun thing i said it's like explain that it. could be a good game show actually they're like explain that joke yes and then but you just have to this do is horrible backwards. this is bad yeah and it shouldn't be done the yeah the main annoying thing about that is that uh Ouroboros, like the smartest one of the smartest men in the tva got a lot of his ideas from a 18th century in guy Rinta? yeah and it mm. wasn't like it wasn't like the time machine novel right yeah where you get a good idea from like a dumb person that was successful as far mm -hmm. as we know victor timely didn't do anything except make a death stick yeah except then we find out that he also has a prototype that is exactly what the tva needs to yeah. expand the temporal loom and it's like come on but like did he encounter this problem and that's why he built that yeah no he just he just decided this might be a problem yeah because his loom never worked like yeah. they even but i guess he just like future proofed it you but know why would I also don't know. i don't know how time wouldn't you just works. if you were building it that from the first place because right now i'm <laughs> how forgetting how ti i'm forgetting how time works in this show yeah you know so shouldn't victor timely's and then uroboros's work keep multiplying and getting better off of each other because he learned from victor timely and so he's writing even better things and working off of that but then that gets taken back True. to victor timely yeah and then that shouldn't that make his work even better but maybe well, it does sometimes it, it would be like a once off yeah with some things but the fact that loki went back in episode one mm -hmm. and changed stuff for Ouroboros, then yeah it should be a reciprocating loop but i guess they didn't think of that slash yeah. maybe the t maybe the tech is as best it could be yeah with whatever time Lee could figure out in the past and it doesn't it's stupid yeah Sorry. why am i trying to make sense of this show you know it's like yeah, I don't think they thought too much about it, to be honest. They were too busy really wanting to get that emotional core of the character. Yeah. Which are characters that they've changed from what they even were in season one. I still I think am... I still stand by Loki has changed so much and not in not in a progression way, more of just a like flick to switch. I hate what they've done with Sylvie. Like in season mm. one, it's like she was actually really likable. Like, yeah. you know, she had her things, but it's like, I, I'm like, I like this character. She was understandably angry because, like, the TV yes. had torn apart her whole life and she had lived her whole life in apocalypse. But then this season, she's, like, kind of flip-flopping with what her motive is. Yeah. It's like, she wants something done, but then she also went and worked in a McDonald's for who knows how long. And then it's like... Yeah, she gets up Loki in the TVA for not doing enough. 
And then it's like, but she was the reason she caused all the problems. That so they're they going went through. and got Victor Timely so they can solve what's happening with everything. And then they're leaving him to do his work. And they're like, while they're doing that, let's just like go get some pie, which yeah. is like, okay. And I'm sure that's like probably the highest rated scene of this show so far is Loki and Mobius eating pie. Yeah. So I'm sure like the Marvel <laughs> fandom was like, yeah, the pie, they're going to do it. But then she's like, you're just going to fucking eat pie and do nothing. We should be fixing things. It's like, what are you going to fix? The only way to fix this problem other than leaving the nerds to do the nerding is to start pruning timelines, which you don't want to do. So it's like, sorry, Sylvie, what were you going to do? There was actually one thing they could have done, which was to take Victor Timely down to the machine and get his temporal aura scanned. Mm -hmm. But they wait until the end of the episode to do that, yeah. even though that's like the most like important thing. Yeah. Like if it, if they did that first, they at least could have opened the loom and they would have been like, shit, it's worse than we thought. Yeah. Instead, they waited till the very end and then they're like, oh no, after but like he got he kidnapped. But he was helping. He was helping. You couldn't they're, disturb they're him. They were chatting and it's like, oh, like they just wanted fun with Kihi Kwan or whatever. But I don't care. Actually, what would have been interesting is if... Sylvie didn't want to kill Victor Timely mm -hmm. because not all variants are bad. Like, because yep. she almost got pruned as a kid for being different. Mm -hmm. So what, why is this Kang, why does this Kang have to die according yep. to her? Shouldn't she be the only person that's like, actually, maybe we shouldn't kill every Loki variant yep. or every Kang variant because some of them might be like me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that could have been an interesting thing, but they just didn't even think of that. Change. Like, well, it's like, it like kind of goes to like, um, you know how in like Ahsoka, the big thing was like, you're not, what your like master was kind yep. of thing it's like you're not what your mainline variant is yeah like loki's you know? don't have to be evil yeah loki's Kang's can change and that kind of was that was kind of the thing in season one yeah they loki touch was on like i change and he kind of talks about it. and this he's and like even, he's like i change he referenced it like an episode or two ago and when they're in the pruned when the when they're at the end of time the other loki variants are all there mm. and they're like we've chosen to change like old loki had changed <laughs> and like he because he saved everyone with his illusion and sacrificed mm. himself like that's a big loki change mm. and like they let a kid lead them so like there was a lot of loki's deciding to change and then there was the band of loki's that didn't want to change and they were the bad guys yeah but so it would have been interesting but they didn't bother yeah that scene where they're walking around the pie room could have been so much more more visually interesting or more, more emotionally visually, interesting. but also emotionally as well it just kind of felt like yammering yeah um and like even like loki he was trying to make like some good points but even his character was kind of like just like dog shit i feel like he could have done a lot more um and so we were just like we had really just gotten on my nerves by that point in the episode. Yeah. Um, it's like just, and it's like, why you, if you think you can do more, just go and do it. It's like, you've, She's very you've shown needlessly us, hostile. you've shown us that you will just go off and do your own thing if you want to. And you like, you can. Yeah. There's no reason for her to really stick around at that point either. Yeah. And if she wants to, if she feels like she wants to be all high and mighty and do fix things, go fix things. Anyway, while our Loki's arguing in the pie room, Brad and the other, like the Minutemen and yes. Um, and docs. The one lady from the Vale in Game of Thrones. Uh, they're all in the room and Brad's like, come on, like we need to do something. Like we need to fight back. So, you know, we can do our own thing on the sacred timeline. And then they're like, really, Brad? Like, was it that good? And he's just like, mm, uh. And then, he was like, a famous actor, but like there's no guarantee you'll ever be famous. Like you might just be a regular yeah. dude, but whatever. And then like they're all like kind of arguing and Brad's just like, hrumph, like I'm never going to get my way. And then, um, you know, cut away and then cut back to them all still hrumphy. None other than Miss Minutes and Ravona, Ravona, Ravona Renslayer. Ravona Renslayer I think it's with a B, yeah. And she's like, hey, look, you can come join me to take back over the TVA and we will save everything and you guys can all go to your own timelines or I'll just kill you all here. And they're like, you got to kill us. And Brad's like, do <laughs> this. <laughs> and so nope. they pan away in probably what could have been like the coolest a lot of people graphic on Twitter, violence scene. A lot of people on Twitter, and they could have gotten away with it too. A lot of people on Twitter loved it still they're like oh it was mm -hmm. so gruesome like this is the darkest thing the mcu has ever done but i wanted to see the meat cube yeah it's I like they can, they can pan away and that's fine while like the crushing is happening because sure that would be hard to yes. get on it's like it'd come be, on that's actually be, like blurred violence it'd be yeah it'd be too too gross to look at mm. it would be visually hard to do because it'd look like janky cgi yeah but just pan back and just show a cube that's this big yeah and it's just red give me that super meat boy yes that mm. would have been i would have been like oh yeah but instead it's just like implied violence yeah it's like oh it's like jaws but Do you know what it never is? see um, jaw it's um is his name jaw is is the shark in jaws Bruce. named jaw no, Bruce? Bruce. it's like jaws um, but instead of seeing jaws eventually you never see him hp lovecraft 
Oh, like it's like it's oh you couldn't even imagine uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> What's it look like? Oh, I couldn't even describe it. It's crazy. In, in, if you saw it, you'd die. You'd that's, die. that's how scary. It's just no, I can't. <laughs> the worst thing you could ever imagine. Um, yeah. So it's like <laughs> yes, I understand what they're going for. It's like oh, I couldn't even imagine. Like just imagining it, you're gonna imagine probably something worse than what they could have animated. Um, but at least use I think it the a little boys bit more. has proven you can definitely animate some pretty gruesome shit. Mm. And it's only a once off. Like it doesn't change your whole TV show showing yeah. one bit of gore. Um, but even not even showing the gore, show the aftermath, something, you know. The episode's almost done. After Brad goes and yeah. kidnaps Victor Timely, who has fixed a chocolate machine. A hot cocoa machine. A hot cocoa machine <laughs> to possibly make the best cocoa ever. Yeah. Like, the man was enamored. And then, I mean, it's a funny little moment. Mm -hmm. But they send him alone with one guy to get kidnapped. Mm. But it's like, he's a tinkerer. Like, that's kind of fun. It's like, you know, he's yeah. like, I've never seen this thing, but I want to make nice, it better. Or... It's nice that they showed him actually be able to do something mm -hmm. rather than like, here's something I made off screen. And the thing I did show on screen failed miserably. Also, and he's I'm maybe a con man. Oh, Jonathan he's... Majors, like you see like, cause he has like an armband kind of thing. Yeah. And it like his bicep is like just ripping out They should out just put it. him in a coat. Cause yeah, yeah. He, the man's jacked still. And Creed it's... three, just like <laughs> or four, whatever. Yeah. He's, he's meant to jacked. be a nerd in the 1800s, but yeah, he could kill anyone With ever. his hands. <laughs> But um yes, so X X five kidnaps him, uh, yep. and they take him to the big conference room, and then that's when um which they don't lock, they have no real plan. <laughs> All right. And then why didn't they teleport somewhere yeah. on the sacred timeline? But then Loki and Sylvia are like, oh no, how do we rescue them? And then Obi tell and Morbius tell them that they can just <laughs> Morbius. <laughs> Morbius tell them that they can just turn off the no magic machine. Like oh, I I should turn off the the magic filter. Like, to me, it was always implied that. The no magic was because, like, they're it's in, in like the, a no time. Yeah, no they're in a no kind of time thing. zone. So, like, a lot of things don't work. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe anything not TVA doesn't work. Like, a, a, a human gun might not work, mm -hmm. and that's why they always prune people. Because mm -hmm. wouldn't it be easy to shoot someone at long range and then just prune their corpse? What if what if there was pruning guns? I mean, there's no they have grenades. There's no reason. <laughs> yeah, there's literally no reason why they don't have long range pruning. Mm. And it could have been oh, because projectiles don't work. Because like laser beams in one episode, they float them. slowly, but like no magic was yeah. the whole thing. And they're like, oh, and then we can just time, turn off just the magic. That off. And it's like Loki has been on your team for so fucking long. Yeah. And also, just a quick point: when they're running down the hallways in this episode, it's empty. Mm -hmm. There's like no one working in the TVA anymore. Whereas yeah. I remember season one, there was always guards walking past, other variants. Whereas now it's literally Loki. Or just like admin be, stuff. Yeah. Um, Carl or whatever his name is, was admin. Mm. But now he's the, the second smartest man in the TVA. Correct. And I'm just like, okay, I guess people liked him in the mm -hmm. first one. Or the, the director maybe people knows him. People love like a Taika Watiti type where it's like, yeah, it's just a guy, you just, know, unsuspecting, just smart, a funny silly guy. silly little you know? fella. Apparently Taika got fired from Thor 5. Good. They're now on the hunt for a new one. Good. Uh, anyway, the, one before of the reasons... We, before we get to the... Are you about to go into what, the saving scene? Yes. Before that, you're forgetting something. The worst payoff to a time loop ever. Oh, no, that's what I was going to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talk about it. So, <laughs> so in episode one, mm -hmm. there's a big thing about Loki getting thrown through time, which we loved, and we thought that was really clever, and we thought we were hoping that'd be the whole season. Mm -hmm. But then instead, in episode one, when Loki's getting shot through time, he ends up finding... Sylvie in an elevator trying to crawl out, can't get out. And then what actually happens is he's trying to find a pruner to prune mm -hmm. himself at the right particular moment for a reason. And then he does get pruned. And when I watched the first episode, in my brain, I'm like, oh, we found a pruner. And he just did mm -hmm. it in the right time. But then watching the recap in this episode, it shows that someone else prunes him probably because mm -hmm. both his arms are up. And I'm like, oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, it's going to be Loki pruning himself. Yeah. And then what they do is... Loki's running around and turns out Loki sees himself and he's like, oh, I have to prune myself to make episode one happen. But you know what's going to that because you see Sylvie get in the elevator and yeah. it's like going janky and then he they he's like, up. i got to take the stairs. And I'm like, oh no. I'm like, this is that timeline. I said, but this is what it's happening. One thing they did do was they showed episode one Loki running by and mm -hmm. the only clue that it wasn't future Loki was that he he's had the time, the he had the stopwatch. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But then they just straight up show new Loki thinking about like, oh, I have to prune myself. And it's yeah. like, well, that's ruined all the surprise. Yeah. But the worst thing is it doesn't change anything. All like, all that did was get us back, like episode one allowed that to happen. Mm. It's my, not interesting. My idea for how they should have gone with that if they wanted to stick to that same idea is not show current Loki being like, that's me. Look at Pruna, turn it on, be like, oh, 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 and then prune himself is keep, redo that exact same shot, but then just extend it. And then when you see past Loki get like 
um, dissipated, whatever prune. Yeah. You see current or, Loki, and he's like, and then he just says, "I'll explain later." It's or like show was, show Brad or something, so that when Loki gets pruned again, you're like, "Oh shit, he just got pruned," and then you're mm. like, "Wait, no, that was episode one, Loki," because this is episode four, Loki. Yes. Like it might have been. We needed to think Loki got pruned, whereas yeah. at no point in time did I care that Loki was... Because I knew he had to get pruned. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, this isn't a payoff. This is a... Who was on the phone? Did they explain that? Uh, yeah, it was Obi. It was just Obi and Mobius oh, saying, yeah, he was like, where are you guys? Yeah, I was like, where ah, are you guys? They, that could have been so fun. They mm. could have introduced a third timeline yeah. where Loki goes back and he has to get himself there. So he has to call... They could have done so much stuff yeah, they could have done with anything. like overlapping timelines where he's had to set up a chain of events to get to him make there. sure it happened. You know, yeah, that would have been interesting. That'd have been fun. So basically, they rescue Victor Timely uh, enchanting by Brad. enchanting Brad because they turned off Magic Machine. Magic Machine broke, mm. and then. But also, they could have teleported in there, teleported him out. That too. They kill Renslayer. She's now pruned, but then that also doesn't matter. Not killed because I think she has a. She time does pad get. With her. Yeah, she gets sent to the future, which is exactly what Loki did in season one. He pruned himself to mm. then fight God, but then uh, Elias. But then the dumb thing is they bother to kill Renslayer and it's not a big moment because they might have just reset the whole universe. Mm. Like they might have just wiped the entire yeah, time. At the line. very end, they're like, someone needs to go out on the time bridge. And Victor Time is like, it's my job. And then he opens the do it. He opens the big gate and he takes one step and he's like <laughs> gets spaghettified. And, and they're just like, What well, yeah, that so just happened? They kill the two biggest bad guys possibly, but yeah. then the loom explodes and they cut to white. Oh, just quickly, last 15 seconds. The very start of the episode, uh, Miss Minutes is like, you're going to be so angry. You were dating the one who remains, maybe. Oh, God. <gasps> what a shocking, angry moment. Oh, God, the loom just exploded. What? Oh, shit.